world. I'm Miss Mary from the YMCA and I'm very excited to be with you today. Today we are going to read a wonderful story called Carla's Sandwich, written by Debbie Herman, illustrated by Sheila Bailey. Today's story comes from the Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities curriculum that was developed by the Michigan Fitness Foundation. Let's take a minute to look at our cover. And we'll take a peek at the back. And I want you to think about what you think our story is going to be about today. Do you have any guesses or predictions what's going to take place? Who's going to be in our story? What are they going to do in our story? Now, looking at our cover, have you ever made your favorite kind of sandwich? What was on that sandwich? Take a minute to think about that. When's the last time you dared to try a new food? How did it taste? Did you like it? Was it not your favorite? Well, let's listen to our story and find out what is gonna be on Carla's sandwich and if she dares to try it and if you would dare to try it. Carla's Sandwich, written by Debbie Herman, Illustrated by Sheila Bailey. Carla brought weird sandwiches to school. Buster noticed it first. He was sitting next to Carla at lunch one Monday. Ew, what are you eating? Buster asked. It's all green and slimy. It's an olive pickle and green bean sandwich, said Carla. I made it myself. Would you like some? I brought extra. No way, said Buster, pinching his nose. That's gross. It's not gross, said Carla. It's different. I like to be different. It's not different, said Buster. It's gross. And he went to sit next to Leslie instead. On Tuesday, Carla's sandwich was long, with something yellow and white oozing out at the sides. What in the world is that? asked Leslie. It's my banana cottage cheese delight, said Carla, on a tasty toasted baguette. Bananas and cottage cheese? asked Leslie, sticking out her tongue. That's disgusting. It's not disgusting, said Carla. It's creative. It's disgusting, said Leslie, and she went to sit next to Natty instead. On Wednesday, Carla's sandwich was orange and brown and lumpy. It crunched when she bit into it. Ugh, said Natty, who was sitting next to her now. What is that? I call it Carla's Crunch, said Carla. It's peanut butter, crackers, and cheddar cheese, and a lovely pita bread. I brought extra. Would you like some? No way, said Natty, scrunching his face. That's sick. It's not sick, said Carla. It's unique. It's sick, said Natty, and he went to sit next to Marcus instead. On Thursday, Carla brought a chopped liver, potato chip, and cucumber sandwich. On Friday, she brought a sardine and mustard sandwich with sunflower seeds. By Monday, no one wanted to sit next to Carla, so she ate by herself. At the end of the day, Miss Pimento made an announcement. Tomorrow we will have a picnic. Hooray! Everyone shouted, a picnic, yippee! The next day, when the lunch bell rang, the kids ran to get their picnic lunches. I have peanut butter and jelly, Natty announced to the class. I have bologna, said Leslie. Tuna, called Buster. Hey, Carla, what do you have? Carla didn't answer. It's probably a Ketchup, spinach, and jelly bean sandwich, joked Buster. He and Leslie howled. So did Natty. It is not, said Carla. Let's have some quiet in here, said Miss Pimento, or we won't be able to have our picnic. The class was suddenly silent. Then the children followed Miss Pimento two by two down the hall, out the door, and down the block to the park. 
All right, everyone, said Miss Pimento. Find a place to sit and bon appetit. Carla took a bite of her sandwich. Yuck, said Buster, pointing at Carla's sandwich. What is that, a worm sandwich? For your information, said Carla, it's a lettuce, tomato, raisin, bean sprout, pretzel, and mayonnaise sandwich. I call it the Combo Deluxe. It looks more like a Wormbo Deluxe, teased Buster. Leslie and Eddie burst out laughing. Buster rummaged through his knapsack. Uh-oh, he said quietly. He rummaged some more. Uh-oh, he said again. He dumped everything out of his bag. I can't believe it, Buster said sadly. I forgot my sandwich. That's awful, said Leslie, biting into her bologna sandwich. A real bummer, said Natty, chomping on his peanut butter and jelly. Soon everyone was eating, everyone except Buster. Carla looked at Buster. She looked at her sandwich. She looked back at Buster. You can have one of mine, she offered. I brought extra. Some kids snickered. No thanks, said Buster gloomily. I'm not that desperate. Doris ate her egg salad sandwich and Rufus ate his tuna. Herbert ate his salmon salad sandwich and Barbara ate her turkey. Buster's mouth began to water. Buster looked at Carla's sandwich. Maybe bean sprouts aren't so bad, he thought. It's really quite delicious, said Carla, catching Buster's glance. Buster quickly turned away. Susan ate her corned beef sandwich and Harris munched his taco. Fabio ate his chicken sandwich and Gordon ate his meatloaf. Buster was growing hungrier by the minute and his stomach growled loudly. Raisins are kind of fun, he thought, and who doesn't like pretzels? Marcus ate his cheese sandwich and Darcy ate her bagel. Buster eyed Carla's sandwich again. You don't know what you're missing, Carla sang out. Buster couldn't take it anymore. He looked around. Everyone was busy eating. No one was watching him. Okay, he whispered to Carla. Okay, what? asked Carla. Okay, can I have one? he whispered again. Can you have one what? asked Carla. Buster blurted impatiently. Can I please have one of your sandwiches? Everyone looked up. Carla smiled and handed Buster a combo deluxe. Buster examined the lettuce, tomato, raisin, bean sprout, pretzel, and mayonnaise sandwich carefully. He looked at Leslie, then Natty, then Carla. And then he took a very small bite. All eyes were watching as he chewed and swallowed. Well? asked Leslie impatiently. Well? asked Natty. Buster didn't say anything. He looked at everyone and took another bite and another and another. I can't believe he's eating it, said Natty in disgust. What does it taste like, Buster? asked Leslie. Is it gross? Buster didn't answer. He was too busy eating. When the last bite was gone, Buster licked his linger fingers and smacked his lips. Yum, he said. That was the best sandwich I ever ate. It was, asked Natty in horror. It was, asked Leslie in dismay. It was, said Buster, smiling at Carla. Carla beamed. I bet you'd all enjoy the combo deluxe, said Carla. Who would like to try some? Slowly, Leslie raised her hand. Then Natty raised his. Then Darcy, Susan, Rufus, and Fabio. Soon all the kids had their hands in the air. Carla took her last sandwich, broke it into small pieces, and handed them out to everyone. Wow, said Leslie, tasting her piece. This is terrific. Yeah, said Natty. It tastes great. Tomorrow I'm going to bring a creative sandwich too, said Leslie. Maybe it'll be a mustard sandwich with baked beans and french fries. What do you think of that, Carla? Sounds good, said Carla, and it's definitely creative. I'll bring a spaghetti and soy sauce sandwich, said Buster as he sat down next to Carla. Yum, said Carla and Leslie together. I don't know what I'm bringing yet, said Natty, but it'll be unique. The next day, everyone in Miss 
Pimento's class brought an unusual sandwich to school. There was an asparagus and salad dressing sandwich, a pistachio and tangerine sandwich, and even a pizza sandwich. What did you bring today, Carla? asked Buster. I'm not telling, said Carla. You'll have to wait until lunchtime. The morning seemed to last forever, but finally the lunch bell rang. While Buster was munching away on his spaghetti and soy sauce sandwich, he glanced over at Carla. This time, her sandwich was not green. It was not slimy or lumpy, and nothing was oozing out at the sides. So what kind of sandwich is that? asked Buster. Yeah, Carla, said Leslie. What's inside? Natty looked at Carla, waiting for an answer. Well, said Carla, today I have peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly, asked Buster in disbelief. Peanut butter and jelly, Leslie and Natty asked together. Peanut butter and jelly, said Carla, biting into her sandwich. I like to be different. The end. Very good listening. Thank you for enjoying my story. Let's see what we learned today. Why do you think Carla's classmates thought her sandwiches were gross and disgusting and yucky and sick? Take a minute to think about that. Maybe because they didn't dare to try them before or it was a food that they weren't used to, right? But remember, we always need to dare to try new foods because our taste buds are always changing and something you've tried before that you didn't like, you might actually like the next time you dare to try it, just like her friends found out in her story. How would you have handled that situation? Think about what maybe you would have done different than what her friends did. Now I want you to think about a type of food that you like that is not typical. Maybe it's a food you love that a lot of your friends or family don't like. Very good job listening today. Thank you for having me and we will see you soon.